went on to Australia, where Melbourne locals have been paid a very special visit by a Native American Indian. Lakota John brings the wisdom of his people down under, offering us some food for thought when it comes to our life journey. Here's the report from our very own Angela Anderson. We are here on the outskirts of Melbourne, Australia, to speak to a man who is rather unique in this part of the world. In today's society, losing our way and forgetting what's important in life is easy to do. So it's a breath of fresh air to meet Lakota John. He's a Native American and his mission in life is to help others find their way through the traditions and wisdom of his people. Bringing people to that place of empowerment, um, finding themselves, um, just really finding you know, who they are. Lakota has been showing Australians in Melbourne how to live a more fulfilling life by getting back to the very basics. Uh, we, we basically lost the, the instructions on how to live on this earth. A Cheyenne Indian whose ancestors come from the plains of North America, Lakota John grew up in the fast lane of city life. He says it was a lifestyle that disconnected him from what was right, forgetting the meaningful message his grandfather gave him many area. years ago. He walked me down this area and he stopped and he says, look back. And he said, never forget where you come from. There's going to come a time where I won't walk with you again. And you have to remember how to get back. He soon began to realize that a materialistic way of life had no meaning for him. You're chasing a mirage, you know, it's, it's, it's about money, it's about ego, it's about you know, all these things that really take them away from their true essence. And, you know, they, we have to come back to reality and connect with the earth again. Here's what some had to say after Lakota gave a seminar in Melbourne. Is he's teaching us to be self-sufficient and to find our spiritual path. Basic things, but things that we've all forgotten. What I believe Lakota is that he really wants to help people and his mission is to try and get everyone to find that sort of peace and harmony and truth and light in their lives. When he's back home in the United States, Lakota John runs the Sacred Path program in Utah. One of the aids at the academy is equine therapy. It involves a close interaction between the student and a horse. I've taken people in recovery, alcoholics, you know, and put them on horses and those that are just really coming out of their addiction, the actual horse will take on that energy as a person's working through recovery. The horse is a very sacred animal to Native Americans. According to Lakota, horses are remarkable and mystical creatures with healing qualities. We believe that we don't choose a horse, a horse chooses us in our culture. The youth program that Lakota is involved with at the academy has affected many young lives. Uh, get them to a place where they're bearing fruit rather than just walking around as tyrants and hurting one another and disrespecting their parents and disrespecting their elders. Lakota says the Sacred Path program provides services to all people of all cultures, introducing them to the wisdom, insight and healing of Native American culture. He points out that pollution has become a big issue for humans and the planet. His prediction for the future is rather thought-provoking. I'd say hang on, hang on, because uh, I think the Creator is going to take this world with both hands and shake it. With all the turmoil present in the world today, Lakota's words may be a timely inspiration. Angela Anderson, NTD News, Melbourne, Australia.